describe your childhood? My childhood, I was a very creative child. I took every opportunity I could to turn every living space in the house into some sort of stage. I do talk shows. I would play David Letterman. My brothers would be guests. I would host a show. A lot of my childhood was being and becoming some sort of person in a spotlight. So I was always um, on stage to, in some degree. I started playing the piano when I was about four. My grandmother was a classically trained musician. She came here from Italy at a young age. And um, when she retired, she went from a grand piano to a little spinet and uh, at four, I would go over there and, and play all the time to the point where my grandfather actually gave me, well, she, she and my grandfather gave me the piano. And I'll never forget them dragging it down into my basement. And I, would, I began taking lessons at that time, first grade maybe, and absolutely hated it. So I went from a very classically trained to ditching it and playing, you know, what I wanted to play. Pop, Billy Joel. How do you prepare for a show? The preparation for me is more, more mental than it is actually picking up the instruments and going through the material. I do do that. I tend to know the spots that you know, I'm gonna be on the spot to do. And so I'll, I'll race through them, but it's more, more of a mental preparation. I feel like I need to just, I have to have the set list. I have to have, um, you know, my costume and, and everything put together. It's more of a packing mental kind of preparation. Okay, so just tell me, who, you, who are you portraying in the band? I am John Paul Jones, Jonesy, the quiet guy in the back. About the wig. Well, the, the guys hate the wig. They've always hated the wig. They've not said one good thing about the wig since I got it. And uh, particularly Jay. But the wig is actually, you know, when I made the decision on what I was going to wear, I wanted to try to find an aspect of John Paul Jones that was more iconic of him. And I, and I remember seeing the song Remains the Same and thinking that page boy wig style. It's not quite red, mine's not red. I think I would look a little ridiculous in red. So I just got what I could find that looked like a long page boy renaissance type wig, which is what he was wearing in that film, the song remains the same. You know, when I'm, when I'm out there, I can't say that I'm thinking necessarily about notes or, you know, any worries. It's, it's become uh, a lot of muscle memory. So what I what I'm find myself doing is looking out into the audience for some kind of an energy to, to feed off of. So I'll, um, you know, if I find somebody really digging a tune, a particular moment, I will draw myself and give everything to them. And, you know, if not, you'll find me back by the drum set communicating with Jay. So I'm constantly looking for 
somebody either in the band or out there to 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 communicate with and to just share that energy because I find that when you're getting that you you give more so that's I, I look for that immediately right from the start I am the baby of the band I started when I was 25 I'm 37 now and I think I could go another 20 years you know for me it's not a question the other guys are, you know, older and it's really going to be up to them. Their well-being, I think, is going to determine, you know, the, the duration of the band. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm in it till, till, they, till one of them says I can't do it anymore. And if one of them says that they can't do it anymore, any one of them, I will at the same time withdraw. I don't see myself, and I'm not just saying it to be you know, mushy. But the truth is, is I, I don't see myself spending the time to, to, re, to go over, you know, new material with um, anybody else but those four. So the minute that they, one of them calls it quits, I'm probably out as well.